Hello, my name is Josh Atkinson, and you have once again stumbled upon my portrait painting YouTube channel. Today we are taking it back to the classic Hollywood era, um, doing Marilyn, oop, Marilyn, Barbara, Gloria, um, but I'm doing a different style. So like, here we are. Okay. This is the painting we'll be looking at today. Obviously, it's in color, which its predecessor is not. Um, but the difference that I'm more interested in showcasing is the expressiveness of the brush strokes, trying to do something more stylized rather than just aiming for conventional realism. So, so that's what this video is going to be about. And uh, without further ado, here's the time lapse. So here is the source image. And now we paint. So, when I was painting this meeting last week, so meeting now, I was struggling with this this conflict. It feels like on YouTube, um, it's it paint, painting YouTube. It feels more like we're we're aiming to showcase how good we are at getting a likeness in a portrait, getting realistic work, if it's a landscape or a still life, you know, it's all about just showing basically that you're a good draftsman or drafts person, I suppose. And I, I think that's crucial if you're working in the ballpark of realism at all. And clearly I am, but it's not, it's, it's, it's ceased to feel super exciting to me. I have kind of arrived at a style and subject matter that I know I want to dive headfirst into. Um, something more um, brutal, to, to borrow the title of last week's painting, which was of a, uh, a boxer with a, a swollen, injured eye after a fight. I just, I'm, I'm so attracted to, to, I totally can't explain this, but to kind of like gnarly, harsh, arguably ugly things. I, I just find that... I, I, I totally can't explain it. I always feel like I'm apologizing for it. So, and you know what? I'm not going to apologize for it in this video. I like the dark stuff. I like horror. I like confrontational, transgressive movies, books, certainly art. So, what does one do if... when one has realized that that's kind of the style they want to work in, but they don't have access to a whole lot of models. Models, you know, cost money. And if there isn't a whole lot of that, you turn to the internet, of course. So I've painted a lot of classic movie stars. I love doing it. I, I love old movies. It's a, it's a very organic interest of mine. But now that my style is moving into something less concerned with just getting a realistic likeness and moving towards something darker and and uh, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, more transgressive. That doesn't sound pretentious, whatever. Um, what do you do with Marilyn Monroe? What do you do if your goal is to have this marriage of style, which is like blunt brushwork and unblended colors, big passages of just, you see like her, her red cheeks and, and, and I'm not even trying to blend it yet. What does one do when you want to bring the style to a, to, to a subject matter, which is accessible, but doesn't really comport? Comport? Do I know what that word means? Doesn't conform? Doesn't necessarily gel with, with, um, with the style that you're after. You know, Marilyn Monroe is so beautiful, so is it possible to create a recognizable likeness of her without beauty? And I, we can get into semantics about, you know, there's beauty in everything. There's there's a rainbow in the oil spill on the sewer grate or whatever. And I agree with you. I think I think there's interest in everything. I, I really could care less about beauty or ugliness or whatever. I don't care about that. I'm just, I just want to feel excited by art, you know, by creating. But so at this stage in the painting, I love the application. I love, I feel like it's a it, there's some places the likeness needs needs a little bit of work. I made her face too wide, her nose is too wide. But but I like the style. I like 
that the cheeks are an exaggerated shade of red and that the uh the neck isn't really resolved the teeth are completely suggested but you still get that it's Marilyn Monroe and again there's you know now I'm I'm slimming her her head down her face and it and it becomes much more so her but even the final product that we arrive at it's not like a picture perfect match with the source image and I I don't know I kind of hesitated to put this on YouTube because I don't want someone commenting like you didn't get the exact you know uh longitude and latitude of tilt of her head of her jawline blah 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 I don't care by the end of this it's clearly Marilyn Monroe which makes me feel good about myself as a as a drafts person but like I I'm more interested in in my own artistic voice in these blunt impasto passages impasto is just a, a, a i guess an italian word for for thick paint unusually thick paint for the surface for the compared to the paint around it i like that i'm just globbing down shades of almost pure white to, to indicate a highlight i like that i stumbled upon this this uh her 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 robe i uh i had like drawn in the rough shadow lines with very thinned out probably burnt uh sienna um and then i and then i filled it in with this dingy white and 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 so the lighter shadow parts are actually or the darker shadow parts are actually lighter and it it just doesn't bother me like it works i it was a happy accident as you know our sainted bob ross would say you know the hair is choppy and the colors are uh the values are a bit darker in the hair than maybe they are in the photo in places um i'm happy with this sort of uncomfortable union of blue and and uh dull yellow you know which would just create some green here and there one doesn't think of green when one thinks of beautiful you know perfect skinned marilyn monroe so i don't know i i, I dig the development i dig this but but I, I, as I was saying, I was hesitant to put it on YouTube because it feels like the value on YouTube art is is just about realism. But like, I mean, it's just boring at a certain point. I've got something feisty and passionate and and expressive, and so that's what I'm. That's the direction I'm going to move toward. I'm still going to do realistic more uh, studies that are more toward realism, but like this is close and what i posted last week of the injured boxer um that subject matter lent itself better to well a violent application of paint because it was a violent image it's harder to find that balance with marilyn monroe because she's so pretty but but i i, I dig this direction i'm just going to go with it um, if, if people on YouTube have anything to say about it, then please do comment below. You can criticize, that's fine. I've only got 10 followers at the moment anyway, so I don't know what I'm worrying about. But, uh, yeah, I feel happier moving in this direction, and I'm never going to, I don't anticipate anyway, giving up getting a credible likeness, an accurate likeness, you know? If you hold this next to the photo, as I'm doing, it's not exactly the same everything, the same angles, but if you look at it without the photo next to it, it's obviously Marilyn Monroe. So anyway, I would just encourage you to uh, try this too, like dive toward creativity. Why are we feeling constrained by these voices in our head? Anyway, so that's the finished painting. It is an 8 by 12 oil painting, and I love it. So yeah, that is how I arrived at this portrait of Marilyn Monroe. Hopefully you got something out of that. Hopefully we are both walking away having having cracked the code, having struck the perfect balance between expressive style and brush strokes and um getting an accurate likeness. I know. I'm I'm quite happy with the way it turned out, honestly. Um but so yeah, uh please do leave a comment. I'd love to hear some suggestions about what you'd like to see me paint in the future. And um, otherwise, yeah, like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.